Hey guys, it's Rody T, and I'm back with another Binding of Isaac video. And today, we're just gonna hop straight into a greedier run on Blue Baby because it's been quite a while since we've done either of those things. All right, in our silver item room, looks like we have toothpicks, which is a great start to a run because we get 0.72 tiers up. And looks like we have a free soul heart here. And I will be getting Mr. Dolly once I get enough coins because Mr. Dolly is also a pretty solid DPS up because we get more tiers. All right, we're just about to take out our last wave here, and there we go. Looks like we have just enough money to pick up Mr. Dolly, which gave us two more HP and a key, which we will use to check out our other item room here. And we get Lazarus Rags, which I guess is all right, if we do end up dying on this run, which hopefully we won't, but I guess you never know. Let's go ahead and fight uh, our boss, which is Mr. Steven here. Or it's just Steven. I don't know why I said Mr. Steven, but yeah, it's Steven. And then we will uh, hopefully get a good deal with the devil. All right, we're just about to take out Monstro here. And that is our last boss we need to fight before the deal with the devil. And I will be going for deals with the devil because we do have a lot of HP for it. Uh, so let's see what we have here. I think Sulfur and... Uh, money equals power are kind of no-brainer items here. They're both very, very good for greed mode. And now we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next floor. All right, in our silver item room here, looks like we have Magic 8-Ball. Uh, let's see what card we got. The Devil card is actually going to be pretty good. I'll probably try to save that for the actual Ultra Greedier boss fight. So hopefully we can make that happen. Um, I should probably buy a key to get into our actual item room and then we'll go ahead and fight our waves here okay we're going to ignore a curse of the tower i feel like it will end up just destroying this run so let's go ahead and cut to when i cut th beat all these waves here all right let's take on our bosses and see what we have here looks like it's the duke of flies which kind of just got disintegrated as you can see and the next up we have peep and peep shouldn't be too bad. Um, we do have the money to go to the shop right now, but right now I'm going to take advantage of money equals power and the fact that we've used sulfur a couple times. Um, all right, our next boss is Loki. I didn't even see he threw like a, a hole down there. I guess it's my bad. Or no, this isn't Loki. This is a little horn. What am I talking about? All right, let's go ahead and check out our next deal with the devil. Looks like it's Krampus. Hopefully we get Lump of Coal. We definitely do not need Head of Krampus. Head of Krampus, I think, is just a way worse item than Lump of Coal. And, of course, we get Head of Krampus. I'm going to pick it up just in case it decides to show up again somehow. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our shop again. Um, I think we'll buy a bar of soap. And if we can get the money for it somehow, Stapler would be really, really, really nice because the damage up does work with brimstone, of course. So I'm gonna shoot these poops. Maybe we'll get some money. And looks like we're one cent short, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll just move on to the next floor. It's no big deal. All right, our next shop has a D20. However, I don't think I wanna go for a D20 break here. Maybe in a future run. Um, I just don't feel like, feel like I can make it work on this run. So we got um, Glass Eye for the damage up, which is pretty nice. And I will buy a key for our gold treasure room here. Let's see what we have. And we get Jacob's Ladder, which is one of my favorite items in the game. So this is going to be a really good run now. All right, let's go ahead and see how strong we are against these bosses now. And Big Horn, I guess, will be a pretty good test to see... How we're doing here because he is quite a tanky boss and it looks like our damage is very very good right now it only takes us about like seven shots to take out big horn there now we have the red angel i always forget the the names of like like their actual names i always just call them angel statue bosses or whatever they are there we go we take out both of those now let's go ahead and fight our deal with the devil boss fight which should actually be easier than our normal bosses for some reason. I guess it's because we have double brimstone. Um, and looks like we get Guppy's Tail here and Demon Baby. Um, 
I'm not going to take Demon Baby because our HP is not amazing. And I feel like we won't be getting conjoined anyway. But I guess you never know with Isaac. But it's alright. Alright, we have 31 cents to hopefully buy something good here. We don't need Torn Photo because the shot speed is useless. And um, we're already at the tears cap. So let's go ahead and do a reroll here. And um, maybe we'll get a key on sale or something too. So none of these are worth it. None of these. Um, Blood Clot could be worth it, but I think we could go for something a little better here. The D1's also pretty solid, but there's something better we could probably get. And the 9 volt I think will be very helpful because it'll let us charge up Sulfur faster, which um, gives us more damage overall. Alright, let's fight our bosses. Looks like we're starting off with Brownie here. Brownie is not really an issue in my opinion. Well, we did get hit, but it's fine. As you can see, we do have quite a bit of damage when we can actually hit the boss and now we have mr fred here mr fred should go down in just a couple shots of brimstone and there he goes now let's pick up all of our money so we get some damage and then we will fight our deal with the devil boss looks like it's mom's heart uh should be fine i think we will be able to take it out completely fine looks like yeah we can just kind of stay back here and, and I guess until she does this attack, which was very hard to dodge. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we have in here. Um, Dark Prince's crown will do nothing for us and Delirium will kill us. So let's take neither of those. And I guess let's just buy some HP because, well, why not, right? And yeah, I'll buy some HP and then we'll buy a key. Check out our item rooms, which I kind of forgot about. Uh, we'll take the virus for sure. And Mini Mush is going to be okay for us, so that is acceptable to me. Alright, we're on Shoal now. Let's go ahead and get Matchbook here. Because it gives us a Black Heart and some Bombs. Uh, see what we have in our item room, or our shop. And we get a bunch of poops, which I guess is nice. Um, PJs could be worth it, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to fight through all of our waves here, which should be pretty quick. Alright, let's go ahead and fight our bosses. Looks like it's a double Super Wrath, and they just got disintegrated. Now we have this guy, who I am quite scared of, actually. I do not like his Brimstone attack. It's, to me, it's one of like the hardest attacks to dodge for some reason. Okay, we took him out before he was able to use it. And let's go ahead and fight our deal with the Devil. Looks like it's a... Double Krampus, not too bad, although we did get hit, unfortunately. And then, let's see what we have in our deal with the devil. Uh, we will take Empty Vessel for sure, because we actually gain a heart, and we just get the ability to fly. And with that, we can check out our Curse Room, which gives us two keys, and those two keys should let us into our item room. Uh, Razor Blade, unfortunately, isn't going to be much help of us to us. And let's see, what else can we buy here? Um, you know what? We will buy PJs. I just think it's safe to have, so overall I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, now we're on the last floor before Ultra Greedier. Let's check out our curse room, which just had some bombs. Um, we don't really want raw liver at all, so I'm going to try to reroll after we get some money from our waves here. Because we can spend all of our money because we don't have to worry about the uh, the greed machine anymore, thankfully. I didn't mean to use my devil card there, but it should just be alright, hopefully. I don't think we'll need that damage for the ultra greedier fight, but I guess we'll see. Alright, let's fight our bosses here. Looks like we have a double monstro too. And this is actually going to be a little tougher because, well, Monstro 2 is tankier than normal Monstro, but it still shouldn't be too bad. Especially if they aren't even going to attack and just jump around like they are. Alright, next up looks like we have the Frail. Again, another boss that isn't too bad. There we go. Let's go ahead and fight our last deal with the Devil. And we have a Triple Stain, who should be pretty easy. 
At least I hope so. Uh, and we got our invincibility from Empty Vessel, which does let us take him out quite quickly. Um, and I think we're going to take... We'll take Lusty Blood here. It should be worth it. And then, as I said before, we are going to re-roll our shop here to hopefully get something good. Um, meat could be worth it, but I think there's probably better items we could get. Not any of those, unfortunately. Um, squeezy would be nice for HP, but we, again, don't need it. Okay, it looks like we have to buy something here, unless we get some money from these pots or something. Um, okay, we did get some money. Hopefully we can re-roll. Okay, let's blow up this guy too. Perfect. Maybe we can use that for a re-roll. Okay. We were able to, and that lets us get Mom's Ring, which does give us some damage up. And now we have a Yara Rune, which will probably not be extremely helpful for this run, but it's fine. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our last floor here, which is Ultra Greed. Then first we gotta take out our bosses here, and it's another Monstro. But uh, this shouldn't be too bad. This will give us a charge of Sulfur, which will be very nice to have for the actual Ultra Greedier fight. And there we go. And we did get some HP. Oh, I guess we didn't get a charge. Okay, well that's kind of unfortunate because now we don't have Sulfur up. Okay, so let's fight Ultra Greedier. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Alright, our fight pretty, or so far is going pretty well as you can see. Um, we have a good amount of HP and Ultra Greed Phase 1 isn't uh, so bad. I think we're doing a good job of taking him out. Our um, Empty Vessel is actually doing a great job of being a defensive utility because it does give us the occasional invincibility, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we don't end up dying here, but if we do, we do still have the Risen Lazarus transformation, which can, I guess, be a get out of jail free card, but hopefully we don't have to resort to that. Um, I'm just going to try to take out Ultra Greeter here. I don't like when he spawns in all these hearts. It does uh, sort of make the boss take longer. All right, we have two HP left. Hopefully we don't die, but we'll see what happens here. We're just about to be on the next phase of the fight. Well, assuming he doesn't heal up a bunch of HP back. And there we go. All right, it's time for phase two. I think we'll be able to take him out just fine, but we'll see. All right, we've got to be a little careful here. We've got one HP and, uh, well, Ultra Greedier is getting sort of low, although I am as well. So I guess maybe I should have spent more money on HP. Okay, we did die. Whatever. All right, it's Risen Lazarus time. This is our final stand here. Can we take him out? We have invincibility. I think we're going to be able to make it. And we have done it. Perfect. So, um, I guess that's pretty good. I don't know if we already did Ultra Greeter with Lazarus or not, but we did now. So, uh, I guess that's pretty good. Well, it looks like we did already do with Lazarus, but it's fine. At least we got the win on the run. So, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more runs like this. And I'll see you guys in the next run.